Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you what is AutoGPT. Now, AutoGPT, as you can see, is basically GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 paired with a companion bot that instructs GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 what to do. A user tells AutoGPT what their goal is and the bot in turn uses GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 and several programs to carry out every single step needed to achieve whatever goal they've set. So basically AutoGPT is in a nutshell a more extended, a more advanced version of um, you know, chat GPT, uh, which can do a lot of different things, right? So uh, as you can see, what makes auto GPT reasonably capable is its ability to interact with apps, software and services, both online and local, like web browser and word processors as well. So for example, given a prompt, help me grow my follower business, auto GPT can develop a somewhat plausible advertising strategy and build a basic website. So now that I already showed you what AutoGPT is, this is actually how to use it. So as you can see, um, you know, AutoGPT is a new disruptive kit on the block. It can apply ChatGPT's reasoning to a broader, more intricate issues requiring planning and multiple steps. Still early, but very impressive with many health and biomedicine applications. Just tried Agent GPT and asked it to, as you can see right here, it's basically a uh, video of Agent GPT. Agent GPT is basically Auto GPT, um, you know, algorithm within this app right here. So you can visit uh, Agent GPT, or I also sh uh, saw that they have a GitHub. Uh, as you can see, this is a GitHub website where you can go and where you can basically install auto gpt as you can see here is auto gpt and autonomous gpt4 experiment and here are some of the features as well you have internet access for searches and information gathering long-term and short-term memory management gpt4 instances for text generation access to popular websites and platforms file storage, summarization, and also ex extensibility with plugins. So you have a lot of different things. Obviously for this, you will need a coding knowledge, but if you don't want to code, you have agent GPT right here. And as you can see, you can create an agent by adding a name, goal, and then hitting deploy. So this is what you can do here. You can deploy an agent, and this is basically auto GPT. A more uh, softer version of auto GPT is God mode, right here, godmode.space. So you can actually visit godmode.space and you can also use this prompt right here. This is a more advanced version of ChatGPT, uh, which works on auto GPT algorithms. So uh, those are basically a couple of things. What is auto GPT, how to use auto GPT and how you can also download and access auto GPT. So if you have any questions or comments around this, definitely comment down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.